Hi everyone, this is Crypt and Tricks channel. With the development of blockchain technology, credit markets have already undergone large-scale changes. Currently, there has been an explosion of collateral lending in the DeFi and Ethereum ecosystems. With a relatively new protocol such as AAVE reaching 10-digit liquidity and borrowing figures. However, existing protocols only support collateral loans, limiting their users only to those who have enough collateral. BNPL Pay intends to disrupt global credit markets by creating a unique protocol for lending without collateral. The protocol will allow users to borrow funds through its systems of distributed P2P lenders running on the Ethereum blockchain. Unlike the established protocols within DeFi, collateral lending represents a completely new area of risk that has yet to be overcome in blockchain networks, namely counterparty risk. BNPL Pay aims to eliminate this risk by delegating the tasks of credit worthiness verification, risk assessment and other processes performed by traditional credit institutions to node operators. With this structure, node operators are at the heart of protocol and connect lenders with borrowers. Protocol participants Banking nodes create and manage a liquidity pool, which is delegated to them from lenders. They decide how best to use capital and are responsible for tasks such as setting credit limits, interest rates and other conditions for potential borrowers. Lenders are any participants in the protocol who have decided to delegate capital to the banking node. As part of the protocol, lenders can see a transparent history recorded in the blockchain of each node operator. Lenders will receive 80% of borrowers' interest payments, as well as the issue of tokens from the liquidity mining program. Borrowers apply for loans at banking hubs. They can apply to multiple pools for free and are subject to the trustworthiness verification processes established by banking nodes, such as KYC requirements and credit verification. Stackers are any protocol participants who own BNPL tokens and wish to transfer them to a banking node. This functions as a soft guarantee for the pool operator in exchange for 10% of the interest income. Stackers receive their remuneration in BNPL tokens, where accrued interest is automatically converted into BNPL. Competition and engagement are necessary components of innovation, which the credit industry needs so much. Operators of banking nodes compete with each other both for capital from lenders and for loan requests from borrowers. The BNPL protocol is designed to empower borrowers by providing them with more financing options, as well as access to more competitive rates. BNPL Pay hopes to level the playing field for all participants in the ecosystem. And thanks to the BNPL protocol, lenders will for the first time have easy access to credit activity and interest accrual in traditional credit markets, a market that was closed only to institutional investors. Moreover, thanks to blockchain technology, lenders will get full transparency about who they do business with. This will make it possible to make more effective decisions and distribute capital. Borrowers Borrowers are the key customers that BNPL Pay strives to serve. Borrowers apply for loans to network of banking nodes and undergo individual trustworthiness verification processes, such as KYC and credit checks. They have the opportunity to choose the best rates and conditions in the market, which gives them the opportunity to choose outside of traditional systems. Stackers Stackers play both a passive and an active role in the functioning of the protocol. They are a key factor for sureties for the respective pools, reducing the level of risks for lenders and also taking an important management role. Tokens held together by bank nodes will also be considered tokens with a rate. Roadmap the company already implemented liquidity mining, gone through smart contract audit, and launched with the IDO on the Thor starter launchpad. This year we can expect fully function better release of the BNPL Pay app, and in 2022, an addition of cross-chain support. This reduces transaction fee friction for our banking nodes, borrowers, lenders and stackers. And later, an exclusive collateralized lending product for the ThorFi community with ThorFi Asset Utility. Conclusion We see more and more lending projects that do not require collateral, but BNPL Pay stands out among them. 
The uncollateralized loan model could help bring DeFi into the mainstream as it makes loans more flexible. This is an exciting time for the whole market, and BNPL Pay is in the vanguard leading us into the future. Thanks guys for attention. Bye.